continuing to fill questions for you, Samilia. I have a student from within our Telegram group asking if uh, prepping, she's prepping for 2CK. I know many of you are studying for step one. I'll address both. Uh, but the student's asking if for her prep, if she should be doing uh, an offline NBME just to see where she stands, followed by going through my high yield PDFs from the beginning, or should she go through all of UWorld first, as I've talked about, and then the CMS forms for 2CK and then the NBMEs? Okay, obviously for step one, you're going to do UWorld and the NBMEs. So the, the question is, can you just sit in offline NBME, you do well enough, and you say, okay, I can bypass a bunch of the UWorld nonsense. I don't need to sit all of the NBMEs. I did well on a couple offline NBMEs from the get. I can accelerate my prep and just sit. Should we go that ladder route? I'll give you a very good answer here. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical and mehl man underscore medical links down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to the Telegram group and channel down below. Now start the clip. So in terms of uh, prepping for your exam, step one and two, can you sit a couple of offline exams? Do well enough? Accelerate your prep uh, with my PDFs? Or should you uh, annoyingly go through the UWorld sequence as I've talked about in my prior YouTube clips? Your answer is, there's a fucking reason I've harped on slash inculcated to the point of exhaustion in my prior YouTube clips, yes, that you should be doing all of UWorld. I don't give a fuck that step one is pass fail, okay? I want you going through all of UWorld if at all possible. Of course, there's going to be situations in which some students can't get through all of UWorld. Your school is telling you, fuck you, you have to sit step one in three weeks or you're dismissed. I understand that there's going to be a time and place for when a student might have to curtail UWorld. It, but in general, if you have the flexibility, I want you to sit all of your world for step one and for step two, okay? I don't want you touching an NBME exam to see where you're sitting. It's terrible fucking advice, and it's wasting forms, okay? We can gauge pretty decently approximately where your scores fall just based on how you perform in your world. If you're getting below 60% correct in a your world block for step one or step two, you're not really in a position to pass comfortably, okay? If you're going to get a 75% on a few blocks in UWorld, obviously your scores are pretty high already. Why did we need to waste an NBME exam, even an offline one, to assess that? It's terrible fucking advice, and it's uh, something that schools will often recommend because they care about uh, themselves and not the students, okay? They just want uh, some accountability. But in terms of getting you... Uh, to maximize your scores in the USMLE. That's the fucking point, okay? It's not the school's idea of accountability. It's how do we maximize your scores in the USMLE? What I want you fucking doing is finishing UWorld, as I just said, then you're going to go into the offline NBME forms. No reason to waste them early, okay? You're going to go into the offline forms after you finish UWorld. So for step one, you finish, you do UWorld. You're going to do NBMEs 20 through 24, free 120, and then 25 through 30 if you're studying for TCK. After you finish UWorld, you're going to go through all the clinical master series forms, which is going to take you three weeks. You're going to do offline NBMEs 6 through 8, free 120. Then you're going to redo all the clinical master series forms. Then you're going to do NBMEs 9 through 12 online. You know the deal. To make more content, if you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.